So good evening and good morning and good afternoon wherever you are in the world. And we just want to say a massive, massive welcome to join us tonight on this webinar or today on this webinar. We are really, really excited and honored to have one of our Australian athletes join us tonight and explain to us what exactly ProTandem has done to her performance and to her body. So tonight we're joined by a lady called Karen Andrews. Many of you do know her. She's a mum of three. She's a wife. She's a great friend to many. She's an entrepreneur and she's, a, of course, most of all tonight, she's an athlete. And guys, she's been a personal trainer for over 25 years. She's had her own business. She's had her own gymnasium. And and she has been a PT and obviously helping a lot of people achieve success with their own fitness journey. Karen is an athlete. She's a fitness competitor in multiple countries. She has done multiple Tough Mudders, which just blows my mind because I've seen those and they really are tough. That's why it's called a Tough Mudder. Um, she's been invited to the world's toughest mudder in the United States. I know Karen has done the Kokoda Trail in Australia, so it's the shortened version, but the one that's a lot more intense. And she did did it just literally walking through there and like literally the next day she just got back to normal and she wasn't even in pain and suffering <laughs> and where most of us I think would be in bed for about a week. Um, multiple times Karen has completed different marathons and she's just a super, super um, good athlete and she's honored and respected by many. So tonight Karen is going to share with us why she's so passionate about NRF2 activation and she's going to be sharing her knowledge with you to improve and maximize your very own fitness regime. So Karen, thank you so much for joining us and maybe in the first five minutes would you mind sharing your story with us? Sure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I even put lipstick on for everyone here. So <laughs> thank you for joining me. I'm very, very honoured to be here and I'm, I feel very privileged to be able to share my story with you, share this incredible product with you, what it's done for me and maybe a little bit of um, information that might help you and educate you a little bit on some of the things that go on in our bodies that are important for athletes and everyone in general. So like Charlotte said, I'm a married mum of three. I live in a tiny little town in northern New South Wales village, actually. Um, and I live on a little five and a half acre farm that we are trying to turn into a self-sufficient um, off the grid farm. Grow my own produce as much as possible. So I'm very, very health conscious. I always have been chemical free and all of that sort of stuff, which I live by. Um, so I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years. I've owned my own business. I had my own personal training studio that we set up from the from nothing um, and ended up with over 350 clients. I absolutely love what I do. I am passionate about helping people be healthy and fit and living active and full lives um, because that's what I do myself. So my business was in Brisbane as well, which I now live in Northern New South Wales, like I said. So I first competed on stage when I was 20. Um, that was pretty scary and I wasn't very good. But it instilled something in me about determination and passion and figuring out how the human body works, which led me down this path of being so passionate about the health and fitness, fitness industry that sometimes I think some people want me to shut up, but I'll never shut up. So I, my last competition was when I was 40. So, and in between, I've done so many things. I've had my three babies. I have competed in many, many 10 kilometers, half marathons, marathons, and you name it. Like Charlotte said, in one year in the USA, I did four Tough Mudders back to back and qualified for World's Toughest Mudder with an invitation to compete. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to because we were moving country at the time. But that's a big honor to do that. That's a type top 5% athletes that do it. So that was a big deal for me and I'm really proud of that. Um, and then uh, last year I did the Gold Coast Kokoda Challenge, which is in the Gold Coast hinterland, 96 kilometer, brutal, brutal ultra marathon. Um, and I think that I knew what this product was and I knew what it would do, but that for me, that event was a very big test for Nerf 2 activation because like Charlotte said, when I finished that 96 kilometers, it took us 36 hours because two of my team were injured. I woke up the next day and I went for a run. 
Okay, no, most people wouldn't be able to walk. So the recovery and things like that, that happen when our bodies are doing what they're meant to do is incredible, absolutely incredible. And I know that firsthand. Okay. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Can you believe that she does this 36 hour marathon, like excruciating stuff. And then the next day goes for a run. I was like, really awesome, Karen. You know, obviously this product is helping you, right? So can you explain to us what is glutathione or maybe first of all, explain what is oxidative stress and how has protandum and this NRF2 activation helped you as an athlete? Yeah, cool. So it's really important that everybody does understand a little bit about what oxidative stress is because many people have never heard of oxidative stress. Um, I know when I was training my clients, I'd never heard of it. People have heard of free radicals, but not a lot of people have heard of oxidative stress. So oxidative stress is an imbalance between the production of free radicals in our body and our body's ability to counteract or detoxify the harmful effects by those free radicals through antioxidants. Now there's a number of ways we can get our antioxidants and I won't go into all of them because we're talking about nerve 2 activation tonight, but our bodies can produce its own and it's very, very good at producing enough antioxidants to counteract this oxidative stress that goes on in all of us. So oxidative stress is a burden that's placed on us by the constant production of free radicals in the normal course of our metabolism within our bodies. We cannot escape it. We can't um, be rid of oxidative stress. It's a natural process. We need it. And there are things in our bodies and systems in place that usually counteract that. Why it's important is that free radicals are the, well, they're the byproduct of normal cellular metabolic, metabolic oxidation. That's a big word, right? Because this stuff is very, very scientific. So I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, Pardon me. And they're also a byproduct of toxic overload in our body. They can lead to autoimmune disease, degenerative disease, and aging. So it's on a cellular level, and we want our cells to be functioning without these bad guys like keeping on bumping into them and damage them, damaging them essentially. So that's oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is essentially when there's too many bad guys and not enough good guys to keep them in balance, and the bad guys do damage to our cells. Yeah. Thanks, Karen, for keeping that so easy for all of us to understand. And, you know, it obviously is really important to keep those free radicals out of the body and to keep the oxidative stress lower because in my journey, what I've discovered is that most of the big diseases, in fact, over 260 of them are linked to a high oxidative stress in the body. So it's really dangerous for us. Can you explain for us next, what is glutathione? You know, I'd, I'd hardly ever heard of glutathione before, and it's really an interesting subject. What is glutathione, and why is it so important for us to increase that in the body? Yeah, definitely. So, so glutathione is essential, okay? It's, it's something that is our body produces on it set by itself. And I'm going to touch on it for a little bit tonight because it is really, really important. So glutathione is a substance within our body that is found in every single cell in our body. It acts as an antioxidant and it neutralizes free radicals to prevent cellular damage. So what does that mean? That means that these free radicals are all these bad guys, right? They're the, imagine they're like the bad guys in a Pac-Man game. And our antioxidants are like Pac-Man. So our antioxidants are doing a job at taking out these bad guys. Um, and glutathione is one of the good guys. It's one of the Pac-Men. And it gets to work very effectively as an antioxidant in our cells to help prevent cellular damage. So chemically, glutathione is a simple molecule and it's composed of three protein building blocks or amino acids cysteine, glutamine, and glycine. Now, you guys don't need to know that, but some people will want to know that, okay? Um, some people like personal trainers that are really interested in the science behind it. it. It's been quoted as possibly being the most important molecule that you need en masse in your body to stay healthy and prevent disease. So it's a disease prevention glutathione. It is linked with premature aging, disease, especially chronic and degenerative disease, which at the moment 
are the biggest killers on our planet, whether you're an athlete or not. We're all subject to this stuff, right? So glutathione is produced naturally in our bodies and it's called the master antioxidant because it can regenerate itself in the liver after each fill up of free radicals and get back to work. So it helps our liver, it helps our bodies detoxify itself and it keeps, it keeps regenerating itself if, it's given what it, if our bodies is given what it needs to do to do that. So keeping glutathione high is critical for our immune function and for controlling inflammation. And so when it comes to athletes in particular, this, is, this was where I loved it, I don't get sick. I don't get sore. So my inflammation is being kept low even though I'm pushing my body hard. I'm not getting sick even though I'm pushing my body hard. And it's detoxifying my body. It's a master detoxifier and the body's main antioxidant. So it's protecting our cells. And it's making our energy's metabolism run well if it keeps being supplied by the body. So for athletes, research has shown that raised glutathione levels decreases muscle damage, which obviously we all want as athletes. We want to keep our muscle. It reduces our recovery time, which we all want because we want to get back in the gym or back to running or whatever it is that we're doing. It increases our strength and endurance and it shifts our metabolism from fat production to muscle development. Now, that's important for athletes, but that's also important for the general population because having a high muscle mass and a lower body fat percentage for everybody is a lot healthier. It prevents aging and it prevents things like osteoarthritis and all of those kind of things because our muscle is really, really important for our bone health. I'm not going into that tonight, but it is. So we want to have high our muscles being kept on our body and glutathione helps with that. So it's critical at helping the body's first line of defense against disease and illness, which is our immune system, and it helps our immune system do its job at fighting disease. So that's why when athletes are glutathione is low, they're going to get sick. You see some athletes that like they keep getting a common cold or they keep getting things like that because their antioxidant system is low and they're susceptible to it because their immune system is struggling to keep up with what they're asking their body to do. I don't have that. I don't get sick and I can keep pushing, which is kind of cool, right? So glutathione is essential for maintaining healthy cellular mitochondria, which is where our energy is produced. Now we have, we have other, other products down the track that are other activators of our mitochondria, but without glutathione and without glutathione working effectively, Mitochondria can't work effectively. We want our mitochondria to work effectively. That's where our energy system comes from. That's where we get our energy. A lot of people are really tired and lethargic. Most time the antioxidants are low. So it's been noted that virtually all seriously ill people have a glutathione deficiency. That's pretty scary, especially when our body is what makes glutathione. Under normal circumstances, Glutathione is recycled by our body, except when the toxic load becomes too great. What does that mean? So we're living in an environment now that isn't like it was 200 years ago. We're living in an environment where we have chemicals all around us, the air is polluted, the water is polluted, the, you know, all of this different stuff going on. It is a burden on our bodies and our bodies are struggling to keep up. I've had people say to me before, our body can detoxify itself. It doesn't need help. If that is true, and it is true, if the body's given what it needs to detoxify itself, if that's true, why are so many people sick with degenerative disease these days early? We're seeing people now with degenerative diseases that they didn't have until they were once 80, and we're seeing it now in 20-year-olds. The antioxidants are low, and they need the antioxidants high. Okay, so um, when the glutathione becomes depleted, it can no longer protect our bodies against free radicals. We need to protect our bodies against free radicals. Free radicals expose us to infections, inflammation, and our bodies will struggle to get rid of the toxins if our antioxidant system is not working properly. So the reason we want our body to create more of its own glutathione is clear. Now we have a problem. You can't take glutathione as a supplement because it doesn't survive the gastrointestinal tract. So if anybody you know is actually taking glutathione as a supplement, it's probably not doing a lot. 
it won't survive, it won't get delivered to the cells where it needs to go. We need to take a precursor, or in this case, what we're talking about is an activator, where it activates our body's systems to switch its antioxidant system on, rather than trying to supplement it. Because when our bodies are given what our bodies need, it will switch it on and it will switch it on very, very, very effectively because that's what it's meant to do. So that's why the NRF2 activation is so important because the NRF2 pathway, which is what, what we're activating here, is linked to the antioxidant system. It's also linked to gene expression, survival genes, turning our survival genes on and off to help protect us from all of these things that we're being attacked by. So that's glutathione. It's really, really important. It's wow. really important. It's really, really interesting. <laughs> it's so interesting. And, you know, as you say, it's for, especially for athletes, because, you know, I find a lot of athletes on the outside look super healthy, but it doesn't mean that they are, right? Because not all of them look after the inside, which is the cells. So that's super important. Karen, what specific improvements or gains did you notice in your you know, your stamina, your recovery, your performance as an athlete since you've been on an NRF2 activator? Yeah, well, the biggest, the very, very first one for me was after I did my 96 kilometer ultramarathon. That, that for me was a very big one because years ago on one of my marathons, which was 40, 42, 42 kilometers, I couldn't walk for a week. And I was really, really fit. Like I did a, a really good time, but I couldn't walk for a week. Then I come and I'm many years older, do a 96 kilometer, 36 hours, we didn't stop. And I went for a run the next day. That was very, very telling to me because as we age, technically, I should have recovered slower. Nothing else changed. I still eat really well. I take care of myself, but I didn't have a recovery time. That was a big, that was a really actually big moment for me. And I realized that for me personally, as my own guinea pig, that this stuff works. Um, I already knew it. I'd been seeing some other things, but that was a very big test for me. So the other biggest things I've noticed is my recovery in the gym. I train hard. My husband trains hard too. And both of us have noticed our recovery time is non-existent. We don't have, we don't have to have down days. We take rest days and stuff because it's good for you, but we don't need it. We're not walking, hobbling around like we can't move. Um, I think as, as I'm getting older as well, I'm, I'm in my forties now, technically by the time you start getting older, especially for women, your muscle starts, can start decreasing. Um, and it's harder to build muscle because our hormones change and different things happen. But I'm not finding that. I'm not finding that. I'm finding that my muscle is staying. If not, it's actually growing. I've had to back off the weights a little bit because I don't want my muscles to grow too big. Um, and, and things like that. I never get sick. So I don't have any downtime with illness and I'm, I can push my body pretty hard. Um, neither does my husband. He doesn't get sick anyway. Um, so, you know, many athletes that I personally know are sick a lot. They're sick a lot. You know, they catch everything going around because they push their bodies to the limit and some of this stuff is low and it's not as high as what it should be for what they're asking their bodies to do. So for me personally, I guess just finishing off is as I age, you said something before about what people look like on the outside. So when I was younger, it, all, it was all about what I look like, right? I competed and da, da, da. But as I'm aging, my focus and the more I learn about it and understand it and the more that I was seeing stuff happen with my clients, my focus is on cellular health. My focus and all of the research that I've done and just a little bit that I know, I certainly don't know everything, tells me that this stuff is the most important stuff that we have to get right. It's our defense mechanism. It's our body's mechanism of keeping us well. Our bodies are always striving to be in a state of balance. They're always striving to keep us well. And if these systems can work correctly with the amazing science that we have these days that let us do it safely and effectively and very well, then you have an opportunity to help your cells stay healthy. That's cellular health. So little things start happening when your cells are healthy. 
your eyes are clear, your brain is clear, your skin is clear, things, different little things like that, that turn into very big deals. You can move more, you can do more, you can feel better. You're living and not just existing. So for me personally, you know, I'm very, very grateful and blessed that this product found me. I say this product found me. Um, and I will take this product for the rest of my life. And so will my husband, because I know what it does. And when you understand what I spoke about, about glutathione, there are other antioxidants in this system that are just as important. But when you understand what these oxidants, antioxidants really do for us, then you will absolutely stay on this product forever. Um, and keep that NRF2 or NERF2 activation going so that you're giving your bodies the best chance at cellular health. That's my focus now. And that is literally my focus to the world. Awesome. So, yeah. Karen, you know, I was just thinking as you're saying that, you know, the body doesn't function as well when you're getting older if you don't look after your cellular health. I, I remember the term of rusting. You know, so oxidation really is rusting, right? And if you, for instance, you know, if you have garden clippers and they start rusting, when you go next time to use them, like you just, you can't use them. They like stuck, right? And it, it's similar with our, with our joints, with our limbs, with everything just starts aching. It starts almost, you know, just doesn't want to bend the way it used to. Everything slowly starts giving up and and that's why it's so important to look after yourself. So, Karen, you know, I, I remember speaking to you about this product because I was actually the one that introduced it to you. And I remember, you know, you were a tough cookie, right? Because you knew so much about the body and, you know, what's important to take and all of that. But I remember you saying to me when you, when you took the time and you had a look at this product, you said to me, oh, my gosh, this is what I've been looking for my whole life what's in this product. So do you want to maybe just share a little bit about the ingredients in here and why is it that when you look at ProTandem, which is unique, it's one in the world, there's nothing else like it. It's affordable, it's you know all herbal. What was it about this product that just made you go, that's what I've been looking for as an athlete? Yeah, well, when I started looking into it, I knew that it was, so you need to understand as well, it's not an, protanum is not an antioxidant. It's an activator. And I didn't think it existed. I was looking for it. I knew that I, my glutathione was low. Uh, I didn't need it tested because athletes are they're pretty in tune with our bodies. We know if there's something wrong. We don't always tell you that there's something wrong, but we can tell because we're a little bit arrogant bunch of people. But anyhow, we, we love what we do. and you know, we kind of think we know it all. Now, I was humble enough, I guess, to know that I didn't know it all because what I was doing wasn't working anymore. I was not recovering the way that I knew I should have been recovering considering everything that I do and I really have taken care of myself for my entire life. So that started my cogs thinking that if I'm struggling, then people that haven't taken care of themselves are really struggling. So when I saw it, I knew exactly what it was when I saw it and that sent me down a path of looking for, I did not know about NERF2, I'll be honest, but I did know about our antioxidant systems. I knew you couldn't supplement with glutathione, so therefore I was kind of in a catch-22. I take glutathione injections and hope that some of it make it to my cell, or I just have to suck it up, and I wasn't prepared to do that. So I guess the ingredients in the products, I've had some people say, oh, you can just make, you can just, I've got all them in my cupboard. It's not as simple as that. So there's um, milk thistle, which is my favorite ingredient in this product because it is a liver detoxifier. It helps our body detoxify. Um, that is so important. As these pac men are cleaning up these bad guys, they have to go somewhere. What's left over? Our body needs to get rid of it. It has to be detoxified out. And our livers take a big burden of that. And a lot of people are walking around with very dirty livers and their bodies are struggling under the load. To toxic burden, it's called. So um, milk thistle, Green tea, which is a metabolism booster, and it helps deliver things to our cells. Uh, turmeric or um, curcumin, ashwagandha, and bacopa. And so bacopa is for our brain. Ashwagandha is a cellular adaptogen. It helps stress in our cells, and it keeps our cells feeling really good and happy inside. And we all know, would have all probably heard of turmeric and how it's an anti-inflammatory. 
So they didn't just go and take a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of that, crunch it all together and go, here you go. What they did, they went and got active, specific active compounds within these plant, plant-based um, ingredients and they tested them and they put them in specific ratios, in specific amounts, in a specific way. And they took a long time to do it and made sure through testing that it did actually activate the nerve two pathway. They've even had some tests where some of these ingredients were tested singly and they didn't do anything. Over a 10 year period, they didn't do anything at all, even though you're told they do. But when they're all combined together in the specific compounds that they were, they activate the pathway and they switch it on. And I think one of the other things that was really important to me was what's called gene expression. And so this, this is telling our body to upregulate good, good ones and downregulate bad ones. And so they're called survival genes. So our survival genes are being switched on and being told where to go to work. They're there for a reason. They're there to help us. They're there to help us keep healthy. So I guess when I saw this, it was, yep, yeah, wow, this is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And on another note, if you're taking antioxidants, then um, please have a little bit of a research. I would not take antioxidants unless it's in my food. If it's coming from my food, I'll have them. But if it's in a synthetic form, I will not because there's some science out there to suggest that those antioxidants in synthetic tablets and things are actually causing a lot of damage. They actually cause oxidative stress. So, yeah, they cause cellular damage. Rather than you've been told they're helping, they may not be. You can go and research that one. Yeah. You know, I've, I've recently seen that, and I've seen a study that said that long-term taking antioxidant supplements are actually very harmful to the body. So, yeah, you know, as science evolves, I guess, you know, we're going to learn more and more. But how awesome is this product, right? I just love it, and I will be taking it for the rest of my life. You know, a bit of my story is I just had massive brain fog. I really struggled to think clearly. And for me, that was one thing. And I believe it's the ashwagandha and maybe the bacopa as well, Karen. They just lifted that brain fog. And now my brain is really clear. Um, so different people have different results on the product. And, you know, we're not on here tonight because we're trying to build a business. We're really on here tonight because we want to share with you how incredible this product is, right? Like, I know, Karen, that's your heart. It's not about, you know, building a business. This is about affecting and influencing individuals' lives. And especially the athletes on here tonight, we want to help you get a better performance and better results and recover so much quicker. So, Karen, what is your last word for all the athletes that have joined us tonight? Um, my last word is... If you haven't heard of NERF2 or NRF2 activation, please take a serious look at it and do some research and understand that you need your antioxidants switched on. You need them. When you're asking your body to perform at high levels, then you are asking it to deplete certain things that are happening. It's going to need a hand. You need to make sure that you are recovering correctly and you are giving your body what it needs as far as nutrients, macro and micro, to recover. And part of that is our body's own systems. If our own, if our own systems are recovering correctly, then you will have good cellular health and you can keep going for a lot longer. And there's a lot of science now that proves that. So this is about education tonight. This is about the the old way of trying to supplement and there's a lot of athletes I know that are supplementing going, I don't, this is not working for me. I feel sicker or worse than ever. This is new science. This is science about activating your body. This is new. You will hear about it in the future. It's called nutrigenomics and NRF2 activation. And um, you will hear about it. So get back to whoever invited you on here tonight um, and get them to send you some information. And there's a whole heap of us that are more than happy to help you out. I am more than happy to answer questions for people if you send me private messages and things like that. I'm more than happy to help out. Um, but go back to the person that invited you first and get them to talk to you about it. So, yeah, I can't recommend it highly enough. I will take it for the rest of my life. I don't put my name to things lightly. Um, like Charlotte said, I gave her a hard time because it had to be 
what it says it was going to be or I wouldn't be here. So um, I wish you all the very best and everything that you do and let us know how you go. Thank you so much. You know, Karen, I'm reminded of a, an analogy that I was shared with the other day. And it's, it's this, it's flip phones. Remember those old flip phones? We all had one and we thought they were the coolest thing, right? A flip phone today is like taking a supplement, but an iPhone is using an activator in your body. So how in incredible to have this new science and new technology and breakthrough. And guys, to finish off, we'll just say to you that Washington State University 18 months ago did a study on this very product and they released a statement to say that NRF2 activation, which is exactly what Karen spoke about tonight, is possibly the most significant therapeutic and preventative medicine in the history of medicine. And it's all natural, it's not a drug. So do everything you can, get back to the person that's invited you, get this little yellow pill into your body as soon as you can and join us as a Live Vantage family. So once again, Karen, so it's such a huge big thank you. Love listening to you. I could listen to you for the next day. Um, thank you so much. Really appreciate your help. And to all of our guests and distributors, thank you so much for coming on here. We believe you would have learned something tonight. And guys, this stuff will impact your life. So thank you for joining us and have a good night. See you guys.